there and welcome to another how to stream rocksmith tutorial in this part we will talk about the main bot for every rocksmith streamer which is Kokoli bot this bot allows your viewers to request and allows you to control your playlist we will talk about every aspect of the bot and its options follow along to this tutorial if you're new to this and also make sure to like and subscribe this video if you haven't seen the other tutorials yet and to get notified for the upcoming uploads let's do this all right let's dive right into it first and foremost we want to connect our twitch account to the website so what we do is we go to rsplaylist.com link will be in the description below and then you will get to this part of the site the home page the main page and in the top right corner you can log in with your twitch so if you press that and you go through every step this is probably not the screen you will be entering but you will be here except here in the top right corner it says that it's connected so where you want to go next is here to my playlist press it and you will be at your playlist when this is opened it will give you an overview with a lot of tabs we will go through every tab right here so the first one the home page is just the main page you can check it out see who uses it and who's live streaming it you can also join their discord server that's it you want to go to your own playlist also another way to go to your playlist from when you're in your channel settings or in your previously played tab you can just press the playlist and it will bring you to the playlist if you've been streaming and you're like whoa there has been, has been this song request which i really really like but i don't remember the name there is a function here which allows you to see what you've played previously so if you press that you can see what's being on your playlist all the good stuff uh the vips you can see everything so if you were like the, oh that song oh yeah that was gojira it was amazonia very good and then you can just find out what song it was the next step is the owned dlc tab if you press it it will give you a list of all available official dlcs you can manually set them as owned or you can automate it which we will dive into we will i will let you i will show you how to import your own songs into rs playlist the next part is where the juice is happening it's a channel setting step and that's a lot of good stuff so this is very important make sure to follow it all right let's do this channel settings and that this tab has a lot of tabs in it so we'll go through every tab of the channel settings one all right so we start with the general one which just enables the playlist on your channel if you don't do this the bot will not work and there you might be wondering okay but how do you add the bot to your channel then well let's look at that and go to our twitch page when you're on your twitch page you want to make sure that you go to your chat if you go to your chat you can add moderators so here in the bottom bar we will type slash mod and add cocoli bot as a moderator there we go make sure to type this in your channel chat in your accounts tab you can connect to the customs forge this is the site where you'll actually download all the cdlc files from so go to the customs forge in the accounts tab and connect it with your rs playlist account doing this will have a couple of benefits you can download a cdlc directly from the playlist page you can report bad charts and you can import a customs forge song manager import dot json file to port over your official dlc files so that last one sounds very difficult so we'll get into that right now to start off you want to download the cfsm here under tools so you download customs forge song manager make sure to download the latest build you go through the installation process and once you've got that done you will have the song manager in the song manager you will start out at settings page you want to make sure you mark the include rs 2014 base songs the compatibility packs and the custom song pack packs save your settings go to song packs and go to song manager and it will basically parse all your files 
So once you've done that, you want to export a file, the JSON file, and you will, yeah, just save it somewhere where you can find it easily. I will save it on my desktop. There we go. And when it's done, you head back to your RS playlist. You see the import tab right here. You choose your file. For me, it is on my desktop. The JSON Songmaster Grid. Import it and you will automatically update your own DLC list from RS Playlist. The Moderators tab. The Moderators tab allows you to add your moderators to the bot. You can decide what your mods will be able to access. And after adding a moderator to your own Twitch channel, make sure to press Update Moderator List. Right there. Just go through the settings you can mark on or off. After you're done, make sure to press Save Settings and it will be done. Next up is the Requests tab. The Requests tab allows you to add what types of songs can be requested and enables the request system. So make sure to mark the Enable Request module for the bot to work correctly. Then just go through the tab and mark what fits your stream. I, for example, I don't want to play high F-sharp standard songs or open tuning songs. Also, you can set your VIP requests or regular requests rules right here. So if you want someone to request one VIP song in an hour, make sure to set the time period to 3600 seconds. The blacklist and the setlist. This is a tab where you can blacklist bands and songs. You don't like playing songs from band X? Just type in their name and put it on the blacklist. Try the chart and you're not happy with how it looks, sounds, plays? Make sure to just pop it in there. So you can add a song right there and you can add a band name right there. The set list on the other hand limits your viewers to request only one specific or multiple specific bands. So if you want a stream where only Trivium will be requested, you just type that in there, save your settings. The VIP tokens tab allows you to manage the amount of VIPs that are given at a certain event. So if you want a tier 2 subscriber to get 4 VIP tokens, just fill it in there. I have it set to 3, you can set it to whatever you want. That makes it very manageable. Also, if you want to give a token for every 100 bits, you can just change it there and you're all set for that part. The last tab will be the tags tab. Tags are a fun addition where you can add tags to a request. So for example, if you get raided by another streamer and you want to bump the request for the raid, you or your moderator can add the raid VIP tag and it will give a nice visual to your stream and playlist. Type in a name for the tag, select an icon and set a color. You can get as creative as you want. We have a lot of things going on here. We have two pages. The mods go crazy with the tags. Tags tab. <laughs> So yeah, be creative, do something you like, give it an icon, set a color, and it will be set to go. So now with the text part being done, and actually the entire channel settings part being done, it's time to go into Manage Viewers. And Manage Viewers is a tab that allows you to get some information on the amount of time viewers spend in your channel. So when a person was seen last, the amount of VIP tokens a viewer has, and you can control and change that. So for example, Doom Kitty is a moderator in my channel. If I just wanted to, to give uh, five extra VIP tokens, I just say make it 160 and save it up. And she has 160 tokens. It can be as easy as that. So yeah, a lot of valuable information in this tab. Definitely check it out. The bot comes with a couple of commands. So we'll go over the basic commands right here. You can type or enable or disable your whole request system by typing exclamation mark requests on or off. If I type requests on, the regular requests are turned on. I can also type exclamation mark VIPs on and it will turn the VIP module on as well. So if I type exclamation mark SR, name of the band and name of the song, you will see that the song will pop up in my playlist. So for example, SR Dream Theater, 
Metropolis. There we go. And then in the right screen you see it pop up. And that is pretty good. That is the best part of this bot. You can also VIP request a song. So if you type exclamation mark VSR and then uh, name of the band, name of the song, Trivium, Gunshot, then there we go. It will bump the song to the top. So that is very good. We can also remove a request by typing exclamation mark remove all. It will remove the entire queue. There we go. You see it removed there. If you want to hear a specific band but don't prefer some song, you can also add an asterisk and type any after the band. So, for example, if I go SR Trivium dash asterisk any, it will pop up as streamer's choice. And that is very nice. Also, you can just edit those requests uh, by typing exclamation mark edit. And then you can type Trivium pull harder for example that will give you an edit command so with exclamation mark vip you can check how many tokens you have so it and it, the bot also says if vips are on or off so here you see vips are on you have nine vip tokens you can use it by typing exclamation mark vip request or vsr it's all the same command exclamation mark pos will show you what position your song is or your request is so that is a good function and exclamation mark list will show you the entire list these are the most used commands there's a full command list from the cocoli but it is in the paste bin and i will put it in the description below the last part we will cover are some custom commands some streamers use those custom commands and you can add them to a bot of your choice. Want to provide a link to the Forge? Make a command for it. Want to provide a search link? You can create a command for it as well. So I will show you in Streamlabs chatbot, which I use, we have commands and I have a command called CF. So let me look that up. Let's go into the edit mode and you just get paste that ignition.customsforge.com link into that answer or response that command gives. So some people, some viewers don't want to create an account. Customs Forge wants you to create an account. So if your viewer doesn't want to create an account, you can create another custom one, which is called search for me at least. So if you type exclamation mark search in my channel, it will provide you with an RS playlist search link. And that works like a charm. It's a very good one, very handy tool. So yeah, definitely feel free to add that one. It will help out your viewers a lot. And that brings us to the end of this tutorial. So Kokoli Bot is a must have for every Rocksmith streamer out there who wants to do requests. These guys have been working their brains out to create this bot, to maintain this bot, to support us streamers and to make it as easy as possible for us to do what we do. So huge shout out to the creators of the Coco Bot. Also, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And I hope to see you for a next tutorial somewhere else down the road. All right. Take care. Have a good one. Cheers.